So, rolling now, the Airbus A400M, the Atlas. Line. For such a big aircraft, such a very uh, impressive power to weight ratio there, literally hanging on those uh, contra rotating propellers. Propellers, the driven by a quartet of Europrop International TB400 D6 turboprops at 11,000 sharp horsepower each. in the shape of the Spanish Air Force Hornets. Undercarriage down now for this pass. Uh, and uh, a wonderful flight control computer. 
but this isn't just for air shows, this has tactical applications as well. Uh, that manoeuvrability will enable it to fly through valleys to uh, deliver special forces by day and night, and also uh, in the event of being bounced by fighters, it gives it the opportunity to survive and prevent the fighters from getting a firing solution upon it. Yes, yeah, all the best airlifters have uh, had a good degree of agility. The Hercules was uh, no exception. Even the venerable old C-47, the Dakota, um, could, in the right circumstances, be um, really manoeuvred quite, uh, yeah, quite an agile fashion. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, going back 50 years with the Balkan, uh, even uh, the former aircraft of that size would give the Lightning a run for its money. Well, now coming in for a short field approach, we'll see reverse pitch being applied on the four TP400s. The aircraft in the hands of a crew from Airbus Defence and Space, captained by British test pilot Antti Flynn, and his co-pilot for the displays this weekend, Eduardo Curiel Tormo. And it's not often that you see a large aircraft that size going backwards under its own steam. Do go and see the Atlas C1 from Brian Norton in the Static Park. It's open for visitors this weekend, and I'm sure for many of you that will be the first chance to go aboard one of these mightily imposing aeroplanes. The RAF air mobility fleet really has undergone a significant renewal in recent times. Yeah, absolutely, and a significant investment as well. Um, if we were talking about this five years ago, uh, we'd be talking about Project Future Bride, but Future Bride is now. Uh, we now have a world-class deployment facility uh, as a hub uh, for global operations for the Royal Air Force, the Army and the Navy. Further there, completely in sequence, 